Hey, it's Liz and Matt with you, and today's a fun one. We're going to look at the top three passive style of websites that you can buy on Flipper, and the sort of websites that we're looking at when we go in and search for new websites for our portfolio. So we're going to, have to cover those three things. Um, now, this is something that we cover up with our students all the time. This is what we do. We teach beginners how to get onto sites like Flipper, these big marketplaces now that sell actual money-making websites sites where you can go and buy these money-making websites and we teach them how to do that smart so go in with a strategy and actually target the right kind of sites because what Matt and I are all about is passive income buying sites that where you're not just buying yourself another job but actually buying a website that's going to give you some lifestyle that you can actually have running in the background making you a nice side income stream without having to work on it every single day. And I just want to say I think it's fantastic that you're going to talk to us about this topic today because it's really funny anyone that that knows Liz knows that Liz is the absolute <laughs> legend <laughs> of jumping on the flipper and live in front of hundreds of our students and hundreds of our community just within like 10 minutes, she goes through this certain search format, she goes bang, 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 and she finds like half a dozen amazing websites. So we recently ran a webinar just, it was two weeks ago, and we all had so much fun because Liz literally did this search. 10 minutes, we found these amazing websites and we all had so much fun going through them. But each, there was about, out of the dozen that Liz picked out, I'd say about six of them were seriously good sites that were worth checking out. So yeah. no pressure, Liz. No but pressure. what we what we want you to do today is just share quickly what are those main three searches that you look for when you're looking to buy passive, passive websites. Website. Knowing that you're way more impatient. See, I, I, I'm more methodical and I, I love searching for websites, but it takes me hours. You don't want me to explain it. <laughs> Let's get <laughs> I'll, into I'll it. I'll hand it over Let's to you. Let's find them fast. Yep. So uh, when you get on there, so go to flipper.com and have a look around. If you haven't ever seen these websites for sale any, uh, before, then definitely go over and check them out. Um, but let's have a look at, so when you get onto Flipper, you can actually search, it's a marketplace like eBay, and um, so you can bid on sites, there's also classified ads, but if you get on there, they've got a really nice new search function now that's live updated search, which is really good, so as you change the filters, you get to see the results coming up. And the first thing, you go over onto that left-hand side and you can change what sort of websites you're looking at buying. So when you get there, you just tick what, for our strategy, uh, which we think is of course the best one, is you just tick the, simplest. the content websites. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for websites yeah. that answer questions and solve problems. And this is a really nice way to make money in life, is to help people. And that's what we're looking for, websites that are based around good quality content. So you tick that box and we find we just have content sites. So no e-commerce, no SaaS, software as a service, none of that stuff at this stage, especially if you're beginning. We just start with content websites, They're nice and simple. Can I, I'll, you just answered. I just want to reiterate the reason we do because we know we teach, we specialize in teaching beginners how to buy these websites. Mm. So I want to reiterate, listen to what Liz just said, the, there's all, when you get on the Flipper or any of the website brokers, you're going to find all styles of websites. When you're starting out, start out with the simplest, which is content sites. Yep. So the other stuff, there's a lot of complexity to it if you haven't been online before. All right, so number two, what are we also looking for? We're looking for the, the a specific kind of monetization, yep. like what, the way the website makes money. Mm -hmm. So the best way that we find and the ones that we buy are ones that are monetized with either advertising or of what's called affiliate income. So basically what that means is when someone comes to that website, the way we make money is that advertisers want to put their advertising in front of those people, maybe specifically around particular topics, or we use big blue chip companies like Google, the Google AdSense program, to put advertising on those websites. It's pretty hands off. All we have to do is put a bit of code on there and Google fills in the rest. It's the, it, Google's going around tracking everyone and deciding what ads are best to show them. Um, and then when someone clicks on one of those ads, we, get, we share in that advertising revenue with Google. So that's a great way of monetizing a website because when a sale is made, it's not like when you're doing um, a, a drop shipping or an e-commerce style website where you've got to organize for product and refunds and returns and all that stuff. None of that, we never deal with a customer. 
And that's that's a, that's the best way to be, I think, in the online business if you want leverage. So there's two models. So there's advertising. advertising the other affiliate. one, yeah, affiliate income. So did you want to talk about affiliate so income? So affiliate income is very similar. Basically, you, you, you've probably heard of this, but we basically get a commission when someone buys off our link. So if someone comes to our website and we're talking about what's the best, we use the example chainsaw, and we recommend certain products, people are cookied, and so they, when they go over to say a site like Amazon and actually buy that product, we, get, we share in a commission. Now the great news is we, we can use, a, again, one of the world's biggest blue chip companies like Amazon and get affiliate commissions off Amazon, but we can also get affiliate commissions off a really wide range of providers out there. So you can get affiliate commissions for not only just products, like re reviewing certain products, but you can get affiliate commissions for um, promoting services or specific mm -hmm. businesses or for promoting digital products like ebooks or online courses. Mm. Um, and so there's, it, it's a very, what it does, it's when you get good at buying sites that are for affiliate commissions, there's a whole universe of opportunities out there for you. And it's very simple. Like Liz said, again, we're not, we're not holding any stock. All we've got to do is get someone over to someone else's website. Yeah, very, very simple. And the other cool thing is with Amazon, with the Amazon affiliate program, not only do you get paid for whatever they, like the product perhaps that is reviewed on your website and they go over to buy, if they buy other stuff, other mm. commission or items, in the next 24 hours, you also get a commission on those. So pretty cool system. All right, so that's the two monetizations mm. that we look for, is advertising and affiliate income. Very leveraged, very hands-off. The third thing that we want to look for when we're looking at these websites, and part of the um, control panel on Flipper, when you're looking at uh, down the side, you can actually tick, okay, how old is the website? And also, how like um, how much money profits, does it? How, yeah. how much profits does it make? So what we're looking for is established website. We're not looking for the starter sites. We're looking for these established websites. They've been around for at least six months, so we know they've got some history. So from our business brokering days, that's something that adds incredible value to a business. The longer it's been in business, mm -hmm. the more likely it is to keep going, to to keep earning those incomes. So the older the website, the better. I mean, six months. Is is great a mm. year is better Year's much better for yeah. when you're buying two more established websites and you're getting slightly bigger you want it at least a year so two or three years old I we're really that. you know that's that's looking aged yep, in, in digital <laughs> world so if you can find those websites you can actually change the filters on the flipper search there to only show websites that are six months old or more or you can also um, in terms of the dollars. So you can say, okay, I only want websites that are making at least a dollar a month in profit. Or you could say at least $50 a month or $100 a month or $1,000 a month or $10,000 a month. So you've got, really got to choose your own adventure and it depends on how much money you have to invest and of course where you are in your journey. So when you're starting say, depends out- Depends on your level of experience. We, it's, yes. it's good fun to go on Flipper and actually see the websites the that are making ones. thousands of dollars a month because that's good proof. Like here's all these websites that are making a heap of money. But when you're first starting out, we always recommend to all of our students to start small. Buying a website that's under a thousand dollars, you can buy a website for a couple of hundred dollars. Now it might not be making much money, dollar or a couple of dollars a month, but it's a great way to get in the marketplace really quickly and easily and for not much money. So there's our three mm. things you should be looking for when you're buying passive income websites on Flipper. Now, if you want to learn more, if you want to see, we've got a whole masterclass on actually our big, big, bigger picture strategies and why we pick certain websites and how we do that, how we go into due diligence, like what questions to ask to actually, you know, before you buy that website. You can go to the link in the description box and um, join our masterclass. And we also show the, the sites that we're buying and our students yeah, yeah. are buying as well. So yeah, so you see on, live examples. So on, if you, you want to get a better understanding of how this all works, we highly recommend you go and check out that masterclass training. And the other thing to do is have a look around on the channel because you'll see so many student stories. It's so inspirational seeing what they're doing and you'll see the huge range of people that are out there now buying websites and investing and building passive incomes for themselves. All right, so have fun guys and we'll see you in the next video.